welcome back to Planet Zoo. As always, I'm Reckless, and this is the next episode of our Calgary Zoo Reimagined series. If you're enjoying this series so far, please leave a like on the video and comment down below as it really helps me out, and do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, like all of our Calgary Zoo builds, this was recorded live on Twitch, so if you want to watch these builds live and comment along with everyone and uh, leave your feedback in real time, I'll leave a link in the description where you can follow us on Twitch, and then you'll be notified when I go live. Uh, in this episode of our Calgary Zoo Reimagined series, we're building the Canadian Wild section of the zoo's penultimate habitat for the grizzly bear. Over on our Discord, this is the animal that everyone voted for to be the kind of the focus animal for this section of the zoo. So I'll leave a link to our Discord as well if you guys want to be involved in these kind of processes uh, going forward for the rest of the zoo. In order to make this habitat feel special, we went ahead and we added a campground and a log cabin restaurant somewhere where our guests can kind of linger and spend some extra time with our grizzly bears. Uh, they can get some food, chill out, maybe even stay overnight in the campground. I think the campgrounds turned out really great. Uh, you'll see that later on in the video here. But mainly, we wanted the guests to kind of hang out in this area. It is the last area that the guests will go to as they loop around our Canadian wild section of the park. So I wanted this to kind of be a, a large habitat with a lot of, of things going on that would keep the guests there and uh, kind of be a, a focal point for the, this section of the zoo. But more importantly, so that our guests can see the star of the Grizzly Bear Show, which is our big male grizzly named William. Or as chat so aptly dubbed, Big Willie, the best boy. So when we were getting the grizzlies for this habitat, right off the bat, uh, the male that was on the, uh, I don't want to say store, but you know what I mean, right? Like the uh, animal trading center uh, was a, like a 98% sized male. So uh, Big Willie is an apt name for our giant male uh, grizzly. So we put him in here with two female counterparts. Currently there is no uh, animal breeding in this zoo. I've, ha I've turned it off. I just don't want to be dealing with uh, babies and overcrowding and just habitats going going crazy when we're building. But it is something I will add later on so you guys can kind of see the babies and everything like that. But for now it is turned off. So Big Willie's just a uh, He's a bachelor in with two two loving females in this uh, grizzly habitat. Uh, as far as grizzly bears go, these are certainly one of my favorite animals personally. Growing up in Western Canada in close proximity to the Rocky Mountains, I had a lot of experiences with bears in general, but also grizzly bears. And I've seen them in the wild in their natural habitat on a number of different occasions from different uh, distances, if you will. Some a little closer than I'd ever like to be again. But uh, I, I remember one instance in particular. It was, it was on my last real trip or excursion in Canada before I moved out here to Asia. And uh, a buddy of mine were going fishing in the uh, Kananaskis National Park in Banff, uh, Alberta, Canada. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with it, give it a Google search. Kananaskis Park is absolutely amazing. Banff in general is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. And uh, so we, we went up there fishing and it was kind of late in the summer, almost autumn. So the bears were getting ready to uh, start their hibernation. They were getting nice and fat and they are all down out of the mountains to kind of feed on as much stuff as they can. And unfortunately, the bears have learned over the years that humans bring food, right? So as we're driving along, we're, we're passing this campground and uh, along the side of the road is this absolute behemoth of a grizzly bear. And I slowed the car down so me and my friend could get a, a good look at this thing. And it, its shoulder like stood like shoulder to shoulder, if you will, with my compact car at the time. 
it was an absolute monster of a grizzly bear. Both my friend and I just kind of sat there with our mouths open like, dear God, you know? We were both amazed at how large and the sheer size of this grizzly was. Like, when you see these animals on TV or even on YouTube or something like that, it's it's hard to really put in perspective how huge they can get, right? But when they're carrying their winter bulk, right? So if you don't know, bears hibernate throughout the winter, right? So during the summer and autumn, they spend as much time as they can just gorging on food in preparation to essentially sleep the winter away. So at the end of uh, summer, kind of the middle of autumn, they're massive. They're at their full winter weight. They're just big, chunky boys, you know? And uh, yeah, this one, I can still picture it if I, if I try. You know, it's, it's right there in my mind. It just sat with me so well. So yeah, if you guys ever get a chance to uh, see grizzly bears, I hope obviously in the wild, but if not at a zoo close by to you, I, I hope you get the chance to do so because they truly are an amazing creature. So this part of the video here, this is where we start kind of building our cabin for the grizzly bear cafe, grizzly bear grill, we'll call it. We have uh, our chief beef. We have our, uh, what else did we put in here? The water stand and then a hot dog stand as well. So just kind of like a carnivore cafe, if you will, right? There was a nice little picture of our, our best boy, Willie, there. But uh, I wanted this to kind of be like a rustic. Ah, hold on. Before we go any further, if you see in the video here right now, you can pause it or whatever, but there's something going on with my game. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this. But if I highlight multiple items, the, they're not able to move along the axis they're placed on, and they automatically default to the world grid. Like, these are not grid items. As you can see, if I move them individually, then there's no problem. But if I try moving more than one together, sometimes, it, look at this, See you see here? It's just on the world grid, and it won't let me uh, toggle between the uh, plane that they're built on. Like, normally when you place an item, it'll always move on that plane, or you can snap it to the world grid, right? You have the option to do that in the settings, right? But it's not doing it for me in a lot of cases, and this is something that's new that's happened. I validated all my game files and everything like that, and everything seems to be in order, but uh, it, it's it's definitely causing me a pretty big pain in the neck in order to deal with this on a constant basis. I just want to know if you guys have experienced anything like this where, uh, in attempting to move items, uh, it won't actually move on its own plane. It'll automatically revert to the world grid. Uh, let me know if you guys are experiencing anything like that because it's been happening for a little while to me now and I didn't change anything in my settings or anything so I'm not really sure what's causing it. If you guys have any advice as far as that goes, be sure to let me know because it's certainly causing me a, a pretty big pain in the neck. But all in all, uh, I think this build turned out pretty good. I'm still cutting my teeth as far as uh, making actual buildings look realistic and stuff like that. I toyed with the idea of having this uh, cabin have an interior and then have the restaurant on the interior and we built it that way initially and it just didn't quite look the way I wanted it to. So I decided to just kind of have uh, the shops on the outside and then we create uh, little picnic table areas uh, out front. But yeah, this is the campground that we decided to build. Honestly, I just wanted to kind of try the paths out and someone was like, hey, that looks like a cool campground. And I was like, you know what? Let's do a campground, right? It just, it, it all fit together perfectly. So these little fire pits, uh, these are from the African section 
but if you sink them into the ground and you put rocks around them, it gives kind of like a, a cool heat effect. It, it blurs the camera a bit, you can kind of see it here, and it does have little spouts of flame. But if you combine this with the torch from the South American DLC, as well as the, here's the torch I was telling you about, and then the smoke from the uh, special effects, it gives a really cool fire effect, and we were able to create a pretty realistic looking campfire, right? And add the tents in, it really sells the campground look. I think this campground turned out fantastically. Of course, right now you're just seeing it plain, but we're going to decorate it with trees and rocks. I think all of you guys who have been following me for a while, you know my style when it comes to trees and rocks and plant life and everything like that. I really like to go heavy on the plants and rocks and stuff. I don't know if you guys caught that in the video there, but uh, this is another issue I've been having in the game where when I put uh, an item down, the snap to ground is not enabled, okay, I'll say that right off the bat, but like I'll select a rock and instead of it defaulting to the x-axis it is toggled to the y-axis you'll see it in a little bit as well I try to put a tree and as soon as I click on the tree the trees like laying down on the ground so there, there's really something screwy going on with uh, the uh, the xy axis of the building tool and I, I'm really not sure what's going on so please if you guys are experiencing this let me know uh, so we can determine if it's actually an issue here you'll see it in just a second here look the tree just snaps to the ground right and I have to select it again and then it writes itself up so I'd like to know if anyone else is experiencing this problem or not or if it's just on my end and hopes that I can try and fix it but like I was saying uh, I really love decorating with trees and plants and stuff trying to make things look as natural and uh, lifelike as possible that's kind of my forte i'm not the best at building buildings people like uh rudy renkamel silverett uh who else uh delay designer right all of these guys are fantastic at building the buildings uh due to probably their planet coaster days and they've just been at it for so long right i am trying to get better at doing it and i think i've come a long way but my real strength i think lies in uh, foliage and plants and rocks and stuff like that so I, I definitely like to go heavy on the foliage some people like to laugh at that but you know that's just what I like and it, at the end of the day I, I think it turns out well so I hope you guys agree that uh, the, the plants make it worth it right but all in all I hope you guys are enjoying the Calgary Zoo series uh, next up is either the African section or the Eurasian section. So if you want to uh, leave a vote for what you'd like to see next, you can either do it in the comments down below or on our Discord server as well. We have kind of an open poll going. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>